Hey, what's up guys? Today I was just about to bid on an auction and I figured I'd turn on the camera and talk about my thought process with this. So the thing that we're looking at today is a Epson Fast uh, Photo FF 680W. I found this by storefront stocking on eBay. Uh, the pricing that I'm looking for, we have an auction right here that might work out. When we look at the Keepa here, we see that the low price kind of like the baseline price. If we need to sell it at this low of a price, uh, we can, it's around $499. But we're gonna be prime and this listing has the adapter and the cords, it's in good condition. We're gonna sell it as very good. Uh, so we'll probably list it at 535 and we'll count on selling it somewhere in the ballpark of 520. This item is around 10 pounds. So it's a little bit riskier of an item but we've sold plenty of items that are this heavy in the past I and mean, it should go well. We see the rank here is really low. This type of item is gonna sell very quickly. We can also just, so that you guys know, on variations, when you see a variation here, you wanna make sure that this actually does sell. Uh, so we need to take a look and see if this variation is getting reviews. So we see here it's getting 73% reviews. So that's really good. We wanna know exactly how much uh, we're able to buy this for. So we're gonna put in 520. I'm wanting 40% ROI on this. Also, I'm sending it to a tax-free prep center so I don't have to pay sales tax. So I think it's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark of around 325, 326, probably 327. All right. 327, make sure you guys can see here. 327 is the max that I'm willing to pay for this if I'm gonna do 40% ROI. Uh, this stupid Rakuten is in the way. And I've sold this brand before and I haven't had IP issues, but we can take a look and just be sure on the Keepa that everything looks fine here. It looks like here people are out of stock on the used. So we're down here and we're looking down here at this used. It looks like it sometimes goes out of stock, but there's plenty of times where people are just staying in stock if we look down here. And also the new offers aren't ever spiking down. So that's a really good sign. We're gonna take a look at the stack of sellers and be sure that the brand isn't selling this, just to be sure. So we're seeing someone else is selling. This is used very good. We see someone else, someone else. Someone else, Office Depot, LLC, that's a big guy. Portable guy, yeah, so I'm not seeing the brand on here. This is a good sign. We should be in the clear IP wise. Earlier this week, we found this item and we see that we have seven minutes left here. So it looks like the bid already went up. Someone uh, obviously hasn't watched my video on how to do an auction correctly. Uh, the best way to get a good deal is to put your bid in at the last second. So our max bid is going to be 327. And so we want to do 327 minus 18. And this auction has already gone up too high over what we're looking for. So this is going to be a no-go. But uh, this is my complete thought process around an auction. And... This is the type of item that is really in demand. And so there's just gonna be less of these auctions that actually slip through the cracks. You can sometimes get really good deals with auctions, but then if it's something like this that a lot of people are looking for, it's just not gonna stay at a low price as often. And we are looking at another auction. This auction is ending in about a minute. We first of all found this item that like this is a profitable item just by storefront stocking people who are selling some of things to me and then from there we ran a search for this item and saw that there was a auction ending in a week so uh set our reminders for that and now we are about a minute out from that um it looks like i'm actually ungated in this but if we enter in the stats here it's going to be around a 40 percent roi a 35% ROI at around 106. So 106 is our max bid. There's also shipping to account for. Uh, so it's gonna be 83, I believe. I'll just do the math real quick. But 106 minus 
23 is 83. 83 is gonna be our max bid. And so with these auctions, what you wanna do is you don't wanna just click 83 and place bid right now. We can click this, but we wanna hit the confirm bid at around like very close to the end of the auction, probably five seconds out. Uh, because if we were to bid right now, someone else who's looking at this might outbid us. And But if we bid this right at the last second, it's possible that we just barely outbid the person and we get the auction. So let's give this a go. We outbid someone, someone else bid, but we outbid them. And we end up getting that extra $30 profit on top of our $36 profit. So we ended up getting this for... It looks like I won. All right, cool, pay now. So let's see the max of what I actually had to pay for this. So I actually had to pay $76 for this. And that's including shipping. So this is gonna end up being an 87% ROI for $66. And this item, it's 36K in office products. We'll see if I sell it for 180, but yeah, this is just a example of how to do an eBay auction. Oh, and I'm gonna purchase this. Right address, right amount, right card, boom, got it. And if this is helpful for you to get a little bit of a gauge of how I purchase some of my items, then feel free to like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out a lot and helps me know that this is something that is really helpful and valuable for you guys. And if you guys have any ideas for what types of videos I should do, feel free to leave a comment down below or send me a message on Instagram. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day and take care.